Uh, hi, I'm Maru. This is Arshul. So, I'm going to do a lot of work in front of you, and most probably I will update this video on Google Drive or something to show you how I've done things for you. So, uh, let me just bring this model for you on SketchUp. This is how your model looks like, and like you know, when I looked at this model, the surface matching. Uh, just by like bringing this uh, section plane on top of this select it and uh, like you know make sure that this display section fill is off uh, and when you turn the the settings the rendering by boundary condition like this I saw your uh, project had like you know pink uh, adiabatic conditions between the surfaces of two floors so they need to be green in color, which means uh, the surface has been matched. There is definitely, uh, like you know, um, uh, the single surface between them. But this is not adiabatic. Adiabatic surface means there is no heat transfer. But between two floors, we have to have heat transfer. So make sure that you correct it. Then, like you know, I provided the, uh, like you know, at uh, the. Thermal, uh, the uh, idle air load status from here, you can just select both these places and select yes. And uh, you can provide the thermostat information as well, which I've already been done for you, but let me just do it again. So you just select like, you know, maybe uh, close off open office thermostat and maybe idle load here and select hit okay, okay. And then like, you know, you can check other informations for your lighting and everything. Uh, I'm not going to explain that like you know to you let me just do it real quick for you in in the open studio interface so I have saved this file here and I'm just going to open that file in my uh, open studio interface in this one uh, I just open it here I've saved your files here in final files I've already done all the work but I'm just doing it again for you so I open this this uh, and then like you know i just want to look at these files real quick so it has this upsala uh, how do you pronounce it upsala like upsala whatever uh, sweden files here in the weather file and it has all the design day files as well but you know uh, there are multiple like uh, locations uh, for upsala if you go on this climate onebuilding.org like you know you can say for upsala there are multiple locations the latest one i can see is here as well which is like 2009 to 2023 weather data file uh you can see whichever is convenient for you uh i just ran uh simulations for like different weather files for just for Uppsala for one for 2009 to 2023 weather data which is the latest one it seems and the one you provided and there were some uh, difference in the in the like you know heating energy as well as cooling energy you can do it by yourself the way i'm going to teach you here just to give you a brief idea how you can play with different weather files but let's go back to your osm file like you know uh, you go back to your schedules like you know i'm just using the one that you provided me here uh, I'm sure you know how to play around with them construction set like you have already provided I corrected uh, weather data uh, like some construction set for few of the uh, Spaces for example, if I go on the surface tab here Here in these spaces. I found that like, you know for one of these surface you like for this roof one you did not have any construction information provided so I provided this information here then I provided the uh, the thermostat information here if you go back go to the thermostat I'm sorry the thermal zone tab you can see the cooling and thermal uh, cooling and heating thermostat temperature is there the ideal lower information has been turned on like you can see you can just turn off here turn on here and if you really want to provide some very basic like you know PTAC and PTAC let's say uh, PTAC sort of like you know uh, HVAC system you can just go to PTAC here and just drag and drop here like you know I'll just can do here and select both of like this all select this and apply to select it uh, maybe just delete this second one here so you can just changes make changes the in the properties here this is p tag with electric heating so like you know you can see efficiency is one you can do a lot of things here this is the simplest system but i'm just going to delete this for now because you said you want to provide the simplest system which is a, a ideal a load for you that is also fine like you know uh, if you just want to run it through a loads 
uh, again like you know you know what you're going to do in your paper i'm just the facilitator here so like you know uh, i can just run the simulations real quick here because i want to run the things uh, uh, those like you know uh, daily heating profiles through energy plus because that is much easier here like you know i try to run through some measures didn't work out for some reason because let me just show you if i go to measures tab here and uh, it will take some time and uh, oops, it's taking some time for some reason maybe in next yeah okay so if i go to library and go to in reporting section qaqc measure and try to bring a meter uh, uh, variable here like I don't see uh, I can even do it here let me just think about it can I well I actually tried to do it I wasn't able to get the Excel or CSV file so just to make simpler my life simpler I just decided to like do it in like you know Excel uh, in IDF uh, energy plus file that is also good for you to run how to like you know export file and how to work on it so I'm just going to run the simulation real quick to let you know that you know this file is working go to like you know this result file and you can see there is information they they the building is consuming some energy there is almost like uh, 19,000 kbtus uh, actually 194,000 kbtus of uh, energy for heating but you know what let's not worry about it let's just export the file idf file and let me just do it again in this idf uh, i'm just going to like you know uh, replace it uh, my existing file with the one which i'm uh, which i am like you know ex exporting right now so i'm just going to replace it click yes and you know what i'm just going to open uh, my um, energy plus file for you which has been saved here in the idf folder uh i ran it ran the simulations earlier that's why you see so many files let me just delete them just so that you don't get confused you can see i i ex exported this file just now at 1538 1738 so i'm just going to open this file that's how the files look like and if you really want to change your weather file you can just change it here itself go browse and you can just find the new one here just download the new file from from one building website and like the run it but i'm just going to use the one which you sent me like upsala this one and uh, for now i'm just going to simulate it just to show you how things work and once it's done you want to open this rdd file okay click on this rdd file and that will open similar sort of uh, file for you and it has different variables that you can actually like you know uh like download during a simulation i'm going to show you how this work and if i click similar mdd file then it will open the mdd file for me as well i'm just going to search for heat word uh control f heat and see uh like you know what sort of information can i get in meter so you can see i can actually get one output meter which is heating energy transfer okay I can either copy it, let me just copy it first, okay, and go back to my energy plus uh, launch pad and click on this IDF editor. It will open this sort of file for you. If you just want to see the objects uh, the class list just with the objects that your model has, you can click on this show classes is objects only it will like you know remove a lot of like you know uh, unnecessary information you can see their numbers given it means only these like you know classes have some kind of objects for example if you go to uh, construction you can see these are construction you have but if you go back and uncheck this again you can see a lot of like you know uh, uh, classes which has no object i'll just go at the bottom in the output reporting and click on this uh this one this meter one okay and click a new object here okay and here i will try to find the same the 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 same meter which i copied from mdd file which is like meter data file mdd 
and try to find this heating word like heating something let me just see if i can find some other kind of objects here so you can see you can find this heating energy transfer click on this and you want daily data so either you can get hourly data you can get like daily data monthly data totally up to but i'm going to click on this daily data here and save the file save it close it and rerun the simulation here in the simulate okay and once you're done click ok and then you can see now in your directory where you ran the simulation there should be an excel uh, a csv file just open this one here okay i don't want to convert it just click on this uh like you know uh, here you can see the date and time and the heat energy transfer which is in joule i'm just going to delete the initial uh months uh, which is for like you no know, heating and cooling degree days just delete them and your day starts with 0101 which is january 1st now and i will going to save this csv file first and excel file because when you uh, make some changes in csv file and save it again changes never occur so uh, save it as uh, excel workbook, workbook i'm going to rename it something like excel for amaru underscore and save it and then i will make a new category here heating in kilowatt hours per day save it and then divide this number by three six zero 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 which is i think 3.6 million the conversion is one kilowatt divide is equal to joules divided by this number 36 and 5 uh, 0 which is like 3.6 million something okay so this is your heating degree for, for one day again when you run the simulation again for a new file new heating uh, new climate data these numbers might change so now you have this daily uh, heating degree day heating information for each and every day up to 31st of um december i'm going just going to go to insert and click on this chart which is line chart like you know expand it and you can say this is the data for like you know 365 days and then like you know you can provide new add uh, add uh, primary horizontal element of axis title and then one more for vertical and rename this to uh, kilowatt hour per day and i'm just going to like you know make it black in color maybe that in color you know what and make it bigger and same with here with this title like you know this is like days like select it control a make it bigger red maybe okay and just to like you know uh, select this line maybe format data series make it black maybe depends like what sort of rendering you want okay so this is how data looks like you know uh, right it matches the profile that you sent me in your paper like you know about values it doesn't match i think it can change based on your climate data maybe like you know you can play around with your insulation values for example if i go back to my uh this energy plus diesel data right and if i look at like you know information about building envelope like you know click on table of content go to maybe envelope summary and see what values you have for roof this is 0.039 view value windows is 0.35 solar heating coefficient is actually very low for some reason uh, maybe if you because solar heating coefficient is generally 0 0.4 0 0.5 if you make changes here it can reduce your heating energy consumption i'm 100 percent sure like you know the u value for your exterior wall could be low maybe play around with these values it can make changes like you know i'm just going to guide you i'm not going to like you know do more work here because i spent a lot of work here a lot of time here already but maybe change this point for like look at the lighting as well what is the lighting power density if i go here in lighting power density section uh, and go to lighting I see uh, and just like maybe you know remove unnecessary information 
uh, I don't know which one did you use uh, but yes uh, look into these values I think uh, these are people definition if I go to lighting definition uh, seems all right to me uh, electric definition might be correct I don't know but look into this uh, right like you know it can make a huge change I'm going to save I'm going to send you all these files as well but I hope you got how to work on this like this is how you do all the calculations for uh, heating you can do it for cooling as well if you go back to your energy plus file again and click on IDF editor and go to the uh, you know what I'm just going to show the class with objects only and find this meter here and you might find different meters for thermal zone 1 thermal zone 2 like just to see what sort of meter data you have available for this simulations you can just like you know go to this MDD file and see like you know like what for example here you can see you have heating data even for th zone one you have zone for you have same information for zone two maybe create new uh, uh like you know new objects and find the same like you know heating heating uh, meters for different thermal zones maybe thermal zone one as well and maybe new object for thermal zone two as well right and then based on that you can like you know have uh, heating transfer daily information even for uh, different thermal zones okay you can do it for like you know a lot of informations so I'm just going to save this and I think that's it uh, I'm going to send you all this these files anyway so you can work through them I'm done with your simulations I'm done with like you know making some changes in your energy model and uh, um, I'm I'm done with creating this like profile for you. You can make you can play around with information and see, like you know how can you make changes in your daily profile. Like one thing, like you know this particular number looks very high, which is like eight hundred plus, uh, which is I think here, like you know. So if I were you, I would just like you know reduce this number of eight hundred to like you know proper number because these two numbers looks like you know for some reason looks very high. I might just make these numbers to something around let's say 450 and this could be again 440 so this could actually like you know fix your like you know uh, these numbers a bit because sometimes like you know weather data could be a bit like you know crazy so for a few days like numbers go out of like range so just to give you an idea okay so I'm just saving it and we'll send you all the information now you have 10 more questions left in your deliverables in your contract so you can send them like you know and i will answer you okay thank you so much bye